today I'm going to be preparing jerk chicken in a conventional oven, not in a jerk pan. Now this dish is for those who can handle the hot and spicy taste. Yummy. The first process is to wash the chicken. Now in this bowl I have six drumsticks and six thighs and they are going to be washed with two lemons and a couple of squirts of malt vinegar and what this does it cleans the chicken and it tenderizes it and I'm going to allow the lemons and the um, vinegar to stay in the bowl with the chicken for about 15 minutes. The chicken has been soaking in the lemon and vinegar for 15 minutes. I'm now going to rinse them and place them into the colander to drain the excess water. I'm now going to season the chicken with two tablespoons of Dunn's River jerk seasoning sauce, two tablespoons of Raja jerk seasoning, one teaspoon of black pepper, two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste, three tablespoons of tomato ketchup, and two tablespoons of dark soy sauce. Now all of the seasonings are in the chicken, I'm now going to evenly rub the seasoning into every piece of the chicken and then I'm going to leave it to marinate for 30 minutes. Now that the chicken has marinated for 30 minutes, you can now preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius in your conventional oven or 180 fan or gas mark 6. I'm now going to use 4 tablespoons of oil to line the pan. Now I'm using sunflower oil but you can use vegetable or olive oil. Now what the oil does is it stops the chicken from sticking to the pan and also helps it to cook better. Now that the pan is covered in oil, I'm now placing the chicken in the pan. But when you place the chicken in, place it in and just flip it so that both sides of the chicken piece is covered in oil. Any seasoning left in the pan, place it evenly on the chicken. Now cover the chicken with foil and you're going to place it in the oven for 45 minutes. The chicken has been in the oven for 45 minutes and is now cooked. What I'm going to do now is pour out the stock into a small pot, which will be used later to make a gravy. However, if you would like a drier roasted texture, you can put the chicken back into the oven for no more than 15 minutes. I'm now going to make the jerk gravy with the stock that was taken from the chicken. And to that, I am going to add one medium sliced onion and two sliced sweet peppers. One yellow, one red. You can use green if you prefer, but just two of those. The onions and the sweet peppers have been boiling in the stock for 10 minutes but I can see that I need to add more water to this so that we can have a 
you know enough gravy so I'm going to pour a cup of boiling water into into this mixture and then I'm going to bring that to the boil and once that is brought to the boil I'm going to add two heaped teaspoons of gravy granules As I said earlier, if you like a dry roasted flavour, you can put the chicken back into the oven for a further 15 minutes to roast. As you can see, I put them in for a further 15 minutes. The jerk chicken has now been placed into a serving dish and I am going to coat it with jerk gravy. Now there you have it, oven cooked jerk chicken in a jerk gravy, yummy.